Oh, school free. <laughs> Can I have my apple now? What's happening, folks? Today, um, I have decided to take you with me on a wedding I'm doing over here in Boca Raton, Florida, the beautiful, sunny Boca Raton, Florida. Basically, I'm doing this because I just want to show you kind of what it's like um, to just go to a wedding and take some photos. I arrived about 45 minutes early because you don't want to be late to these type of things. So um, I just arrived early so I can get the kind of kind of the um, idea of what it's going to be like. The, the settings I'm going to have to use for the camera, the lighting, all that type of stuff. So that's me. I'm here. Um, there are some things I won't be able to record, obviously, because just I have limitations, but I hope you enjoy it. So um, that's pretty much that. And I'm out. So now we're in the now we're in the chapel and we're um, taking some pictures. I'm in the sanctuary viewing room and this is where basically you can look down upon everything that's going on in the sanctuary. I'm here because there's nobody here so I can talk and I don't feel awkward. So um, basically right now what I'm doing is just taking photos of random things before the wedding actually starts. I'm just trying to get little intricate things like people talking, whatever the case may be, just small things that that um, will fill the gaps. So um, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. So I'll check back with you a little later and uh, let you know what's happening. Okay, so the wedding's over, and they're coming right back. Yes, yes. Yeah. And she kind of scared me for a second. <laughs> this is Brandy. This is my assistant. No, I'm joking. I'm the assistant. <laughs> I'm the assistant. But right now the wedding's over, and we're just waiting for the bride and groom to come back in so we can take some um, formal pictures by the stage. So that's what we're doing, and um, that's that. So I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, here's a wedding photography tip. Shoot from underneath to get a more magazine-like image. See that? Isn't that cool? Instead of shooting them straight on, works best if you have a second shooter, that way he can do the straight on shots, or she, and then you can do your magazine shots. Cool. Don't take my tip. Okay, so right now we're at the reception and uh, they're eating and everything and we're just kind of taking photos of random stuff. Um, it's kind of hard to take photos of them eating. You usually want to get things like the cutting of the cake, the first dance, and that, that type of stuff. That's the important stuff. So right now we're just um, doing random stuff, basically just wasting time. So. Okay, so now we're at the best part of the wedding, which is the food. Sometimes you get some very good food, sometimes we get some very bad food, but it's always free food, so nothing wrong with that. So I'm about to chow down, so I'm gonna holler at you in a second. I know you're thinking like, why am I not taking pictures and stuff, but I have it like that, so screw y'all, peace.
Right now, my sister is taking all the pictures of the um, bride and groom walking up to the tables and just greeting people, stuff like that. Very simple photos that the bride and groom usually love to have. So that's what we're doing now. So after that, the formalities begin. Um, the bride is going to dance with her father. The groom is going to dance with his mother. And the cutting of the cake and the bouquet toss and all that other stuff follows. So I probably won't be videoing that because I'll be photographing that. So that's it for now.